Welcome to the Fundamentals of Land Surveying Review, question number 10. I'm Dr. Tony Nettleman, and uh, this is one of my favorite questions because I remember taping is one of my first things I ever did as a surveying college student. And since then, taping has always been near and dear to my heart. This is a pretty simple question, just a simple proportion, but it's a great way to dip your feet, dip your toes into taping and to learn how to do these corrections. Let's do it. Before heading to the field, you set up a 100 foot steel tape in between two benchmarks. The steel tape reads 99.93 feet. Reviewing your records, you see that the true value between the benchmarks is 99.98. So essentially your tape is reading five hundredths of a foot short. That's a pretty big gap, but we'll check it out. Now, if your tape is reading five hundredths of a foot short in this line, what is the true length of your surveyor's tape? Let's break this down into three variables. We've got the standard length of the tape, 100 feet, and that's what's advertised on the outside package, and that's really how long you think your tape really is. Second, we have the record or the true value between the two benchmarks. And that is 99.98 feet. And third, the measured separation between the benchmarks, this is what you actually measured today in the field, 99.93. So what is the question we're trying to answer? What I wanna know is, what is the true length of the tape? You think the tape is 100 feet even, what is the real distance between zero and 100? Your four choices are 100.00, 100.05, 99.95, 99.59. Now, if you're a smart cat, you're going to realize that this tape is measuring what? Long or short? It reads 99.93 when it should read 99.98. So you are five hundredths of a foot short. If you're five hundredths of a foot short, then your tape is probably too long. Using some common sense, I can choose the only bigger value on the screen, which is 100.05, but just to be safe, let's do some math. Why waste valuable time memorizing equations and working out all of those long mathematical questions? Purchase a pre-programmed HP 35 from NLC that works the problems for you in seconds and frees up more time to work on the rest of your exam. Programs include Kogo, Triangles, Horizontal and Vertical Curves, and many more. This is a basic proportion. We've got a record partial distance of 99.98, a measured of 99.93. Now, if this is the partial distance, what is the total distance? Well, the total record distance of this tape is 100 foot even. So put that guy in the bottom. And if we rearrange for X, we're gonna have 99.98 multiplied by 100 over 99.93. So record partial multiplied by record total divided by the measured partial. And what that is going to yield is the true value of your full 100 foot tape. And as you guessed it, our 100 foot tape is measuring short, but the tape itself is too long. So the full tape length is 100.05 feet. And that's our answer, B, 100.05. Now, considering how close 99.98 and 100 is to each other, we could have really deduced that the same offset 99.98 minus 99.93 would be the same for 100. So really, our true answer should be about 100.055. But guess what? Those were the choices we were given. We chose the answer that was closest to one of our answer choices, and we got it correct. B, 100.05. Good job, guys. Would you like more content? I would love if you would join us for a complete Fundamentals of Surveying review course. This guy has slides, videos, practice questions, handouts, everything you need to pass this exam on the first try.
It's got the same number of questions and the same question types on its full length practice exam, and it is built to get you from zero to SIT licensee as quickly as possible. Join me at nlcprep.com slash FS.